Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to take a video you've made from PowerPoint or just a video that you already have and use a video tool called Vimeo to quickly, free, and easily compress your movie file. So if this is PowerPoint and this is the way that you've made your video, you will notice when you go to create a video from PowerPoint, you already have three options. So that's pretty convenient within PowerPoint itself. Um, I'm going to show you though that even after you do it this way, Vimeo has a few other options that you may want to consider. So I'm going to create the HD version of this PowerPoint as a video. It's going to render down here at the bottom, so we're going to let it do that for a second. Some of the reasons why, why you might be compressing videos is because you want to be just uploading that to a um, app and you want the lowest file size possible, maybe because there's a file limit on videos you can upload to it. You may just be using the video for review purposes, so a low quality version is fine. You may be using the video to create captions with somewhere else, so it's really just about having a file and less about the file quality of itself. There's a lot of different reasons why an HD version are great, because you can use it on larger screens and do presenting from it, but there's a lot of times where you're going to want lower versions so that you're not spending time waiting for large files to upload to the cloud to send to somebody for them to download when a lower version would work. Okay, so it's done now. So I'm going to switch over to going to Vimeo. It's a place uh, where you can create free accounts if you don't have it already. It's basically asking me right now to upload. So I'm going to go to my folder where I created my video and I'm just going to drag it over onto the browser window. And I'm going to let it upload. It's not going to take too long because it's a small video. And once it's done uploading, it's also going to need some time to render that video. So overall, it's very hard to determine how long this takes. It's really dependent on your internet speed and also the file size of the video. So we're going to let that um, finish rendering. What I do like about Vimeo is it usually tells you how long it's going to take for this to finish off. So you have an idea if you should wait around or let the browser window stay open and go off and do better things. So let's just check on it in a minute or two. See it's already started to pop up with how long it's going to take. Okay it's finishing up now. Here's my video and the fastest way to show you what I'm talking about is to reload this page. And now that it's done it has this option down here to download the video. And when I click on that, I actually have f five different options of quality and resolution to choose from. So that's a very fast way to use a free tool like Vimeo to get a bunch of different video compressions out of it. There's also another way. If you have your video on YouTube instead, you can go to the video URL and copy that and then we're going to open up a software called 5k player and 5k player is a free software that you can download from Windows or Mac and once your video is up on YouTube and has a URL you open the 5k player you copy the video URL and under the YouTube section of the 5K player, you click Paste URL and Analyze. And what that does is it finds your video on YouTube and gives you the ability to download it in various resolutions. If you click the gear icon for settings and show all, you'll see all the different quality versions that you're able to download. So this is good if you have uploaded your video to YouTube and then you want to download it in different versions. This also works for videos that aren't yours but are on YouTube. You just have to make sure you have the right rights to be able to use that content.